Hello everyone, welcome to programming and hacking channel. In this video, I'll tell you what is singleton class in Java and how to create a database connection using singleton pattern. So let's start. First of all, what is singleton? So singleton class or singleton pattern means one. It means it has only one instance. We use singleton class to restrict the insignation of a class and ensure that only one instance of the class exists. Its benefits are ensure that only one instance of class is created, provide a global point of access to the object and allow multiple instances in the future without affecting a singleton class client. How to create a singleton class? First of all, define a static instance of itself inside the class and initialize it as null. The second is make the constructor private and the third, the last one is define a get instant method, call the constructor if the inner instance is null. Here you can see the example. The inner instance is null and uh, the constructor is private and here is the get instance method for calling the constructor if the inner instance is null. So our task is to create a database connection using, using singleton pattern. So it's gonna be great. Let's do it. Okay. So first of all, uh, you need XAMPP server and a MySQL Java connector. You have to download this file. Uh, you will find links uh, for both uh, in the description you have to download this file as I have downloaded it so you then you have to extract it okay so now let's move to the project you have to create a new project Java Java application here I'm gonna name it Singleton connection. Okay. Okay, here you go. So now you have to click on libraries and add jar folder. And here you have to uh, select the folder name MySQL Java connector slash bin it is the same folder that you have extracted earlier here so here's the folder that is uh, being seen here so you have to open it and it will add it to libraries here so now let's move to the project you have to create a new class so I'm gonna name it singleton connection So first of all, let's create a connection. Okay, then static. We will use try, uh, try and catch. Here uh, we will see class for name and here uh, you have to write com dot mysql com dot mysql dot jdbc dot driver then you have to define the connection driver manager dot get connection and here you have to define the connection mysql localhost i am using localhost on xam server so my port is 3306 and my database name is test 
okay you have also uh, give the password and username so uh, the default username and password is root and password is null okay so now let's write the catch so we will have we will possibly have uh, two errors the first one is class not found exception or sql server exception sql server exception okay So in that case, the system dot dot print line a dot sorry. System dot so here if a database is connected I want it to display database connected okay so you have to import the package first Okay, so here we have uh, the catch clause. Now I want it uh, a public static connection, which is get on uh, just return our connection. Okay. So it's for uh, it's all for it. Now let's create a new class with name main. Okay. Uh, okay. So here we have to call our method public static void main uh, first I am defining the main strings sorry string and then arguments ok here we go so now let's call our connection connection on is equal to singleton connection dot get on so it is a connection uh, that we made earlier Okay, so now let's run it for us. Okay, here you can see uh, database connected. Okay, so it means our code is working fine. So now let's uh, work with database. Uh, 
so we will again use try catch here we will use a prepared statement prepared statement dot prepared statement okay here you have to write uh, sql query select all from so uh, let's see my table this is my table name is students here you can see okay select all from students and set result sorry result set equal to result equal to stnt statement dot execute command sorry execute query so okay so here you have to import the packages result set spelling error execute query Let's try catch first. So here we will throw that exception uh, E, which we have defined here. Exception E, okay. Uh, result set results statement query okay so we'll use while loop to extract the results extract result dot uh, next system dot um, dot red line result dot get uh, have the results saved in string format okay so result dot get string one so let's see if it is working or not okay so it has showed me the name alex john mike and nick uh, these are the names that i have said in my table in uh, php my admin and uh, test database with the name of students okay so i want all columns so i'll simply concatenate it with Copy it. String two. String three. I have four columns, so I am concatenating it four times. So let's check. Okay, here you can see. So it has showed me the names, ages, height, and uh, their weight. Here you can see uh, I have extracted all the columns in my database. You can also change it or uh, insert name, age, weight, and height uh, at the top of this if you want by just changing it here. You can insert columns and whatever you want in the student table. Here you can see name, age, 
height and weight alex john nick and mike so same database query has uh, accepted all the doc uh, sorry all the uh, records for us okay if you like the video please thumbs up and subscribe to the channel